going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ace and today we are checking out Rory Gallagher. I believe playing two songs. I'm not 100% sure. But in the title it says Pistol Slapper Blues and Too Much Alcohol. So from what I can tell, these are both covers from two different artists. Pistol Slapper Blues, it looks like it was performed by Blind Boy Fuller in 1938. And then Too Much Alcohol was performed by J.B. Hutto in 1966. Let me know if I got that name right. I'm not 100% sure on that one. From the little bit of information I was able to look up, it looks like Blind Boy Fuller is definitely much older. It looks like he was active in the 20s and 30s. And then J.B. Hutto was active between the 50s and the 80s. And it looks like J.B. Hutto was inducted into the Blues Hall of Fame. And the thing I didn't understand is Blind Boy Fuller, whose real name is Fulton Allen, there's no information about discography or any of his songs on Wikipedia, and I think that's a real shame because, like, Wikipedia is, like, a really useful tool and, you know, looking up music and everything, that's that's a great way to do it. And, and for that to not be on there is a real shame. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how Roy Gallagher plays these songs. These are two songs that I've never heard before, and it looks like this is at the RTE Studios in Dublin. So I think this is going to be really cool to check out, so I say we go ahead and get started. But before we do, don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool, it's free, tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, and all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me A Coffee link. The link to the video we're reacting to is also in there. And without further ado, Rory Gallagher, Pistol Slapper Blues, and Too Much Alcohol. Here we go. Thank you. That's 
There's something just, like, I, I don't know what it is about this performance. Like, it, it's just, like, it, it's cozy. I, I, I don't really know any other way to describe it. It just, it, 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 it gave a sense of calmness, and I really liked that. And I don't know what was going on with the sound. I really only heard it in the left side, and I heard kind of an echo in the right side, but it was much quieter. So that's why I was kind of, like, playing with my headphones a little bit, because I was like is something wrong <laughs> i think he might have been playing a little bit faster than than the song is normally played like i went and listened to blind boy fuller's version and it was definitely a lot slower but yeah i mean i i think he was like he, he was doing so well with this one even like just with some basic chords during part of this it just like, again just because he's him he made it look so easy and then he's adding all this flair to it and it, it's just it's a spectacle to watch it made me want to get up and go play with him, you know, just go grab that and go play. Because <laughs> I was like, I recognize some of those chords. I feel like I could at least do, you know, a little something, <laughs> you know. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is this is awesome to check out. And it looks like when, when it said RTE Studios, I figured it was a recording studio, not like a live TV performance. I, I'm guessing that's what this is, because there's like a, a an audience for him that, that he's playing for. I, I, so I'm guessing this is like on TV or something. So this is really awesome to check out. And yeah, I mean, it's definitely different from the guitar pieces that I've heard him play before because this is on an acoustic guitar. So he's not playing his 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 baby in this one, his his electric guitar that he usually plays with. But it is a really cool looking guitar. Like it, it's it's definitely like a really unique looking acoustic guitar and I really like the design of it and I love the sound of it. It sounds fantastic. And yeah, I think he's doing a fantastic job. Th this performance so far has been has been a treat. And I'm looking forward to hearing the other song that he's about to play. So I say we go ahead and get back to it. So here we go. Thank you. Good evening and welcome. I hope you're gonna enjoy what we're gonna try and play here. This evening is just acoustic material, which is nice for a change for me because normally like it's three quarters of electric music on the show. Anyway, we're going to have a mixture of, I love some traditional blues and some stuff I've written myself recently. This, uh, that one was by Blind Boy Fuller, one of the great blind street singers in the 30s. He wrote a song called Pistol Slapper Blues. This next one is about alcohol. And uh, it's called Too Much Alcohol. Hope you enjoy it. <laughs>
It, it's fantastic just just sitting here watching him play. It's just, it's something else. Like just how he's playing this acoustic guitar with a bottleneck slide. How he's like even turning his hand in, in, in some aspects just just to play it in a, in a slightly different way. It's it's awesome. And watching him tune the guitar, I thought that was like really cool. Like it's just like I always see all these bands with like multiple guitars. He even had like a separate acoustic guitar sitting right next to him, but he, he took the time to, to tune the guitar and like I, I don't know what it was, but it it just felt like it was part of the performance and I, I thought that was great. And I'm not for sure, but I think this might be the first time I've heard him actually just talk. So it was really cool just listening to him talk, like out, outside of him singing. Like I, I thought that was that was great. And I think he's even excited to play the acoustic guitar because like he, he even said during that like he like this is kind of like a change of pace, like you know playing the acoustic guitar because usually he's playing the electric guitar. And uh, yeah, I mean I, I think he's enjoying it, which is just, just awesome. And I think like between these two songs, the song that was popping up in my head was Jailhouse Rock. And it's like it, both of these they had that same similar like tempo. And I, it, like, kind of similar, like, sounds, too, especially during the chorus of that song. And I think that's kind of what I was thinking about during Pistol Slapper Blues. And, again, while while this one's happening during Too Much Alcohol, that, that song popped up in my head, too. So I, I think they kind of all have that same, like, style uh, of music, and I, I think that's great. And it, it's, it's also awesome watching, like a pretty established musician by this point. And I also think it's awesome that you have a musician like Rory Gallagher, who's already pretty well known by this point. Like he he's playing these songs for for people that might not have heard them before. So he's like he's kind of revitalizing them because one of these songs is back from the, the 30s. And like I, I've definitely never heard these before. And I, I think it's great because like he, he's bringing him into like a newer generation and I, I definitely like that aspect about him. But yeah, I'm really loving this performance. I definitely need to hear the rest of this. So I say we go ahead and get back to it. So here we go. Well, I was walking down Main Street. Ooh, do you think I see? Well, I was walking down Main Street. Ooh, do you think I see? Sunday, but I knew it was the chief of police. He said, hey there, sonny boy, what's inside your brown paper bag? Hey there, sonny boy, what's inside the brown paper bag? And he put the bottle back to his lips and he said, now Rory, that's the best whiskey I've ever had. Well, that, baby. and I won't feel no pain at all. Thank you. I mean, I, I don't even really know what else to say about this performance. This thing, this whole thing was just awesome to check out. 
Like, it, it, it's so cool seeing him play electric guitar, and now it's, like, so cool to see him play acoustic guitar. Like, so now I, I've seen both, and I, I don't know which one I like more. I think I like them both equally. Like, th this whole thing was just, just awesome. And I love that he put his own spin on both of these songs and just made them feel so fresh. And at the same time, he brought them into, like, modern times at that time, and I thought that was just, that was fantastic. So yeah, Rory Gallagher, phenomenal guitarist. If y'all have any suggestions or anything I should know about, definitely drop it in the comments below. Would love to check those out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's cool, it's free, it tells me I'm doing the right thing, going in the right direction, all those good things. Don't forget to check out the description of the video as well. There's a lot of cool things in there. All my socials are in there. You can go over there and say hi. Hello. The release schedule. I was dropping on the socials a couple days early, so if you would like a sneak peek as to what's coming out the following week, that's the best way to do that. If you're interested in supporting the channel and getting a priority request in, you can check out the Buy Me Coffee link. Each request is only $5, and it helps me out a bunch. The link to the video we reacted to is also in there. And if you made it to the end of the video, comment hashtag acoustic. I think that's it for this reaction. I'll check you on the next one. Bye, guys.